Hey everybody, you are looking at the back of a Mitsubishi iMeve electric car. This one was flooded. It was in uh, Superstorm Sandy on the Staten Island Mitsubishi dealership. Uh, so here we are looking in the back with the hatch pop. This is a rear wheel drive electric car. And under the cargo area in the back is a cover that I've already removed to um, get at the electric components. Uh, so the electric motor is directly underneath this and you can actually see Typically with electric vehicles, if you see five power cables, two next to each other, and then three next to each other, usually it's the battery plus and minus, and then the three phases that go to the motor. And sure enough, if you follow those three cables down, they go down to the electric motor, which is directly underneath here, meaning this box here is the motor controller. So I did pull the little uh, cover off to see that the connections were under there. And then I wanted to see the rest. Now keep in mind the battery's already been removed from this car. There is no power here. Um, I pulled out all the bolts that hold this cover on. And under here, here's the guts of the electric motor controller. And if we look close up here, you can definitely uh, see some corrosion, particularly on the battery cables. And then there's some salt that uh, uh, is dried and left after the, the seawater was in here also over on uh, this side here as well. But on the left, these are the three connections for the three phase power to the motor. Those look pretty good. Copper bus bars all look nice and shiny. It looks like um, you got a pair of um, uh, current sensors over here. Um, I recognize a pre-charge resistor. And then over here, um, it looks like you got A, B, and C, you know, three phases for the AC power. Um, and frankly, I have no clue if that works or not because, you know, it needs that 300 volt battery pack and the CAN bus and everything like that working. But I'm hoping that maybe we can just tap in straight over here and, uh, see about getting that electric motor going. This car is up on jack stands right now. And, uh, later my buddy Tom's coming over. We're going to see if we can hook up a little, uh, 240 volt AC, uh, inverter. To possibly run this motor and I think maybe what I'll do is I'll just disconnect these battery or uh, motor cables right here and there's not a lot of extra length but enough length to get them up to here to connect a, uh, a stock industrial motor controller and we'll we'll see if uh, we can make the motor spin or not